Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here just to present to you a quick video. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, this is Miss Gail here at Georgia Peach Nut, and I'm just now doing my lettuce. I've had them for a long time, but I am just now getting them out. So, okay, it's okay. So what I'm doing now is planting them out. I've already added some organic vegetable, tomato, and herb fer fertilizer. I already added that into the soil and I added some blood meal because this is all they need for right now. Uh, I'm using, I'm reusing some potting soil which I mixed with some brand new soil of uh, my favorite which is uh, Fox, Fox Farm. So let's get to it. I'm just organizing how I want these to sit, how I want them to look, and uh, then I'm going to plant them into these boxes here. So I'm just going to go on ahead and set everybody into its own little box. Take them on out. And yes, I am using uh, starts. When things don't work out, you don't have time, it's okay to use starts. I've told you that before. If you don't trust the soil that the starts are in, you can always take all the soil out uh, lightly don't 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 kill it now don't kill it <laughs> but you can run a hose over it and lightly take the soil out and use your own soil that way if you have any questions about pathogens disease anything like that bacteria fungus you can always just go on ahead and um these have been here so long look at that that's ridiculous but i've been busy uh you can go on ahead and, and take the soil off and put your own potting soil in. That way you, um, here's something crawling. Look, peel bug, where did he come from? Let me throw him away, I'm sorry. You can go on ahead and um, have your own soil. Let's get into it because I've been told I probably have to have a new phone. I'm not happy about that. My phone keeps freezing. So let me stop and say this. Uh, I am liking everybody's videos. I cannot type, my phone is frozen. Every now and then it allows me to type something. But when it freezes up, it freezes up the whole front of my phone. Even when I go home to my home page and I'm not in YouTube. It only happens on YouTube. It doesn't happen anywhere else. So uh, I may have to find out if it's just YouTube or it may just have to get a new phone. Pray for me because I can't afford no new phone. Okay, this is vegetable tomato. I'm going to put some in a hole. Y'all know me. And then put some. Now, we not put a whole lot. About a teaspoon for the each. Some blood milk in the hole. Mixing it up, and I'm gonna plop this right on in, just like that. And that's already pretty to me. That's already pretty. I love it. I love it. And I'm gonna kind of do a zigzag, so I'm not putting them completely on top of each other. Y'all know I will do that. I will crowd it in. That's me. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna get get through this kind of quickly. It's a beautiful day outside. I hear somebody's getting getting a roof over there. And uh, so it's a lot of noise, but it's the neighborhood. Everybody's doing their thing. So I do not apologize for it. If you don't apologize, because I don't live, you know, I live in the neighborhood. Yes, I do. I'm not mad at anybody for and this is uh this is grinding grown kind of big. I'm gonna have to see about putting it down pretty low. Because it has really been in the container too long in that little cell too long so i'm gonna put it down kind of low we'll see what happens we'll just keep hope alive how about that i'm gonna sit a little bit on this side and uh see if i can get to sit up right and it's okay to do that to your plants you know you can do that but this is what happens to your plants when you leave them in the little cells too long and i did leave it in there a long time so i tell the truth shame the devil yeah so it's, am i the only one still planting or anybody else out there still planting um it's gonna start this from seed never did get a chance to do it uh, i have to take breaks because of my back and i don't let youtube and the garden rule me i rule it so i take a break i take a break and all this is gonna be here when i you know get back to it so it's important you take care of your own health. 
to my new subscribers, I'd like to say welcome and thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to my returning subscribers. I appreciate your dedication and devotion. Uh, coming in here just to see what Miss Gail is doing. I uh, got a little problem here. I put this little divider in here, but I don't think I want it. Let's see if I can take this out. Because it is actually going to be a preventative. I don't want that in there. They call it a stabilizer. I call it it's something in my way. So, we're going to put this in. We're going to push that down in there. How's it looking so far, you guys? Is it looking okay? So, we have about three more to go over here. Push this all down this way. I got some more alerts on my phone. Salmonella, you know, listeria, listeria, what is listeria? I can't call it all out right now because I didn't write it down. But I will do another video and I just want you guys to know what's going on out there. Um, cough syrup at CVS, cough drops at CVS. They were supposed to list the list. They put the warning out yesterday or the day before, but they didn't list what it was. They said they're listed today, which makes no sense to me. So that sounds to me like somebody trying to cover their tracks because when they put the warning out, they should have given the list, uh, the names of, you know, the brand names of what was uh, causing the issues, the health issues. Because people, this is flu season and all this, that, and the other people are taking stuff. Now they need to know, so they know not to buy it. Everything has its, you know, <laughs> they just play games. That's all I can say, they play games. So, you know, y'all just be vigilant. Look it up for yourself. Recalls on cough drops and cough syrup from CVS. Just go on and look it up for yourself. You got to be vigilant. Um, you may have it in your cabinet right now. You may be giving it to your child right now. And you would think they would go on ahead and tell you that so that you won't be um, using it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. I need another one of these. Yeah. So, I, I had a big concern when they did not say the name of it. That really bothered me. We'll let you know on Thursday. Well, what if I'm out buying it right now? <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, we have to do what we have to do, people. So, you just be careful. And know that there is a warning. With cough drops and cough syrup. Purchased at... CBS. Just be very careful and mindful and ask the pharmacist which one is it. Before you go in there and make that purchase, you ask the pharmacist which one is it. You don't want to buy it and you take it or give it to your loved one and they get sick. Nobody got time to be getting sick now. Come on. Nobody wants to get sick. So, I'll do another video. I'm going to check and see if they put it out on yesterday. I didn't see it. But maybe it's out today. Maybe they're a day behind. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, we have just finished planting this one. Now, we, this is, by the way, is red romaine lettuce, butter crunch bib, and this one here is uh, the same thing, butter crunch, crunch bib, about the same thing. I do that sometimes. So, okay. So here we go again, firing a hole. And this is going to sit up here on my table. I'm going to come outside, get some lettuce, get me some tomatoes. I got peas over here in this corner. And uh, just have a good day. Just have a good day. Come out on your deck and you can eat off your deck. I'm going to plant some spinach up here so I can have that spinach for my omelet. That I make a no fuss omelet. You don't have to do all that that they tell you. And one day I think I will do a video on it. And uh, I'll be happy. It don't take much to satisfy me. Okay, so we're going ahead and go with the butter crunch. I'm gonna put fire in the hole here. I have to make sure y'all are still on since my phone is acting crazy. Oh, Lord. 
tell you the truth. It's not one thing is ten. I am about a hundred and eighty, maybe, uh, subscribers away from a thousand. And I am very happy. Thanks to you guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Because you didn't have to give me any of your attention. So, I just want to say thank you so much for, um, this one has the same issue with that divider. And it's going to be in my way. Thank you for, for, you know, coming to Georgia Peach Nut, listening to me ramble on. I'm going to have to move this because I didn't think about the fact that this was going to be in the way. Uh, let's see if I can get it out. And this one does not want to come out, so I'm going to turn it sideways. And we're going to just push it down like that. Now, yeah. now. Yeah. Now we're cooking with grease. Now we can keep on moving. I'm gonna put this one in. A little something for it to land on. Blood meal. Now I had someone to comment on my last video that they think that they there's a problem with their um, onions and potatoes. Listen, I don't know what grow zone you're in. If you could just send me what grow zone you're in because I can't reply right now. I have to sit with my phone for hours before they let me do anything as far as replying on YouTube. But if you, um, if your onions, green top has come up, if you have any kind of a bulb, you're gonna want to, right? I take my finger and ring it around that bulb and loosen the soil, and that will allow the bulb to grow. If you are, if you are, have a problems with your potatoes. Potatoes need pos uh, phosphorus and potassium more so than nitrogen once they start growing. Get a liquid phosphorus. Get a liquid phosphorus. And let me show y'all something. Hold on for a minute. Hold on. Hold on. One of my successes in my garden, I've done good before, but I've done even better, is because of this. This right here will make anything blossom and grow. Citrus, whatever. Get you some of this online. And it's um, Golden Bloom by Dr. Earth. Prebiotic inside of superfoods for pre for probiotics promotes buds and blossoms it's a 272 high phosphorus fertilizer i have seen a tremendous difference since i've been using this i need you to pay attention to what i'm saying now if you can't find if you can't do this online go to home depot and get more bloom m-o-r-b-l-o-o-m it's made by alaskan fertilizer let's see here Hold on. It's made by the same company. It's made by the same company as the Alaskan Alaska fish fertilizer, but it's more bloom. It has a pink pink writing on it. And Lo uh, Home Depot cares that Lowe's may have gotten smart enough to start carrying it. You can t use this right here, not this but the moral bloom by alaska fish fertilizer you can use that now if you you say you have problems with your to make your potatoes go on ahead and give this give your potatoes a feeding of what i just told you and i don't know when you planted them but if you have at least two more weeks if, it, if you feed it that now it will uh give it a boost and you have some potatoes now, I don't know particularly what, when you say you have problems with them, I don't know particularly what kind of problems, but I do know that um, you will see a difference in the size and production of your potatoes, also your onions. Now, I use bone meal. Feed your onions some bone meal because it needs phosphorus and potassium right now more than it needs nitrogen because if it has the green growth, 
Now you want to give it some nitrogen, but not a whole lot. Because you, you want the, 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 the leaves on the uh, onions will give you the rings, will help develop the rings. But you need to make sure you also feed it because it, the bulb of the root, because it is uh, growing something in the bottom, in the root, in the ground. I don't know if you have it in the ground or where it is. Yeah, but uh, hopefully you have, if I can get my phone to allow me to talk to you, then, uh, you know, I, I just can't get it to work right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. It just won't work right right now. But if by any chance I can, I go back to where I saw you, which was on the video that I was doing uh, with the beets and the rutabagas, not rutabagas, radishes. That's where I saw the statement at. So you know who you are. Don't don't give up. The season's not over. Frost had, at least the frost hadn't come here. I don't know what your growth zone is once again. But don't give up, please. Just, just see if it can get you some kind of growth. I don't mind telling you what I use. That's why I'm here, because I want everybody to be successful. I share whatever information I have with everybody. That's what we all should be doing. It's not a contest. We don't get paid no extra money for not helping our neighbors out. We can't afford to be that way. So I'm on the last one for this, uh, these containers here, as you can see, it is hot as I don't know what here in Georgia. I don't know what's going on, but the bees is confused, the mosquitoes are confused, and I'm confused. But it's okay. We have this spell of warm weather, so if you wanna, you wanna get out and do some planting with some starts now. I'm not telling you put no seed in the ground because it may not make it depending on where you live now once again I don't know. But if you can go get you some starts now. Go get the starts now from your 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 favorite store. The starts will, will be okay. I can't tell you the same about um, the same about um, seed planting. Unless you're in road, zone 9 and 10 and all that other stuff. Hold on for a second. So what I'm doing is repurposing some soil. It's okay to use repurposed soil. I have put my plant roots into the best soil. But you can do fillers in the bottom down at the bottom as a filler and then in between put your best soil so the roots will go in the best soil to give them a start and then you can do fillers at the top because the roots are not in it so I'm getting it from a uh, bucket that had a failed cucumber plant in it and so I tried to pick some of the roots out doesn't matter so anyway you can reuse the soil it wasn't contaminated or anything like that so you can reuse the soil as long as it's not contaminated you didn't get anything rotten in it it wasn't smelling bad that's how you tell. You didn't get no diseases on it. So you can reuse the soil. Someone asked that question too. How do you know? Number one, if the soil is bad, it's gonna smell bad. It won't have that earthly smell. It won't smell like earthly stuff. So, Okay, we're going to water this in. I'm just making sure everybody has enough soil around them. I want to thank you guys for coming along and, and sitting with me for a minute. And uh, let me 
let me know in the comments. And like I said, I cannot reply most of the time because of my phone. I'm, I'm very sorry about that. But I'm, I'm working on it. Trust me, I'm working on it. Because I need to be able to reply. I need you guys to know that I am here. So let's see here. I think we got it done. Got it done? Get it done? Get it done. Yeah. We're there. Okay. It's a done deal. I have some lettuce left over. I'm going to put it inside of this grow bag later on. But we're going to water this in. Move everything over. I have four plants. Get everything off the table. Woo. Okay, y'all. I have a lot more planning to do today. And I'm going to upload this video. I wanted to clean this up. So you guys can see how she's going to look. Ah, just a little clean up. I usually don't do clean up on videos, but I'm going to do the clean up on this one. Okay. And you can decide how you want to situate your plant on your table. Now. I just have these little milk jugs or tea jugs and I'm just gonna come down through here uh, these planters the holes were already pre uh, drilled which is good and it has a catch tray it has a catch tray which is good now I'm gonna cover the lettuce up the first day It'll help it to hold in the, um, hold the moisture in. You can use the row covers to help hold moisture in. Uh, row covers. Put this over your, over your plant. It'll also keep the, uh, bugs off of it. And you're going to want to put some, uh, mulch, mulch around it too. I'm on the back side, watering it in, watering it in, watering it, watering it in. That's one tray. We're gonna water this one in. That's two trays. So it's done. It's a done deal. And that'll be in by the bone. I'm going to let that settle in for a minute. Let you guys go. I would do a continuous watering in about another four or five days with nothing but fishy motion. That's all it's going to need. guys for coming. This is Georgia Peach Nut. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have not subscribed. I appreciate you guys and I appreciate your time. This was just me doing a little lettuce growing up here on my deck. So I wanted to share that with you. And yes, I'm having to walk around. <laughs> I'm having to walk around a lot. But anyway, you guys take care and I'll see you in the garden.